We all have a role in this. Let's defeat coronavirus together. If 10 people get COVID, almost 8 will have mild disease that can be managed at home, while 2 may need additional medical care or hospital admission. It is important to know how to take care of oneself or our family members at home if anyone gets COVID. Remember, you should start taking these steps as soon as someone has symptoms, even if the test for COVID is not done. Dr. A, how should COVID patients take care at home? Managing COVID at home has two aspects. One is treatment and monitoring of the disease, and the other is isolation to protect others around. For treatment and monitoring, here are some things you should do. Take good rest and drink fluids to keep yourself well hydrated. You can take hot drinks such as hot water with honey, soup, or hot tea. If you have cough or throat irritation, use cough medicine or anti-allergy medicines if they provide any relief. For fever and body aches, use 1-2 to two tablets of Panadol or Tylenol every 6 hours if needed. Remember, antibiotics are usually not needed in COVID or other viral infections. Patients who have severe disease and are admitted to the hospital may need extra medicines or additional treatments based on what your doctors prescribe. Monitor your temperature and your breathing one to two times each day. If you have a pulse oximeter at home, use it to measure and record oxygen levels of your blood. In certain situations, you should seek medical attention by going to a clinic or hospital. When possible, call them before going. Here are some reasons to seek medical attention urgently. Number one, if you are having trouble breathing or having oxygen levels below 94%. Number two, having persistent pain or pressure in the chest. Number three, getting confused, drowsy, or losing consciousness. And number four, if you have blue color of lips or nails. The second very important aspect of home care is to prevent spread of infections to others. Dr. A, what precautions should the patient and family members take at home? Proper home isolation is very important to stop infection from spreading. Watch our other video to learn how COVID spreads from one person to another. Here are some tips for patients and their families at home. Isolate the patient in one room. It is better if the room has a window to allow air circulation. Other home members should avoid coming in this room. If they need to come in, then they should cover their nose and mouth with a mask or a cloth. You don't have to wear a mask when you are in the room by yourself. Each time you leave this room, then cover your nose and mouth with a mask and keep a distance of 6 feet from others. If you live in a single room home or getting a separate room is not possible, then isolate yourself in one side and keep 6 foot distance from others. You can use a curtain or a sheet to stay separated. Open windows for good air circulation in the room. When others are in the room, keep your nose and mouth covered with mask or a cloth. Use a separate bathroom from others in the home. If there is only one bathroom for everyone, then the patient should wipe the surface that are touched after using the toilet. Everyone should wash hands with soap and water after using bathroom. Do not share cups, glass, spoons, plates, towels, pillows, bed sheets, and other items of daily use with others. Remember, soap kills the virus, so it is okay to wash clothes and dishes together. After washing, others can use them as well. Only one or two people from the house should take food or other supplies to the patient. It is better for a young healthy person to do this task and minimize the contact of patient with elderly people in the home and those with medical conditions such as diabetes. Remember, everyone at home should wash hands for 20 seconds with soap and water frequently, especially after visiting the sick person or touching their clothes and utensils, after using bathroom, before cooking or touching utensils, before eating, and when coming home from outside. If soap and water is not available, then hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol could also be used. Wipe the commonly touched surfaces like door handles, toilet knobs, and other surfaces every day. You can use cloth with soap water, disinfectant wipes, or disinfectant sprays to clean. 
If one person in the house has COVID, then other family members are at risk of having the virus as well. This is why family members should leave house only when necessary. They should wear a mask when leaving the home, avoid attending any gatherings, having guests over at your place, or going to homes of others. When can the person go back to normal activities? Usually a mild disease of COVID resolves in 7 to 10 days, but virus can still be shedding for few days after symptoms have resolved. Continue isolation for 3 days after your symptoms have resolved. In total, wait at least 10 days before coming out of isolation and going back to normal routine. Our fight against COVID is everyone's responsibility. We all need to play our part in this. These are difficult times for many people. Don't waste an opportunity to show kindness and generosity. Share this video with others as well. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.